Chalet showed us how we can get inspectors reports for our local grocery stores. Well, tonight he puts those very stores to the test. Once a year, the grocery store where you shop gets a visit from a food inspector. They write reports like these, which clearly describe the store's food safety violations. Now, 7 and 4 News requested copies of those reports for eight randomly chosen grocery stores in our viewing area. We then made unannounced visits to see what's being done to fix the violations. We start in Cadillac at Carter's Food Center. The store led the list in total number of violations with 11, including a seizure of sausage with the original sell-by date altered. Also, food shelved next to chemicals like detergents and fresh cut fruit not chilled adequately. The store had no repeat violations, and when we arrived, the store manager showed us they had taken the steps necessary to fix their violations. To Misik and Ken's IGA. With only four violations, Ken's led the list, three of those being minor, but one raised eyebrows. Inspectors noted 13 pounds of bacon appeared to have the sell by date removed. Same with four packages of Lunchables, and there were stickers covering expiration dates on hot dogs. The owner, Ken, didn't wish to appear on camera, but admitted by dates may have been washed off of some products by employees. Next to Olson's Market in Manistee. The store also had 11 violations, mostly minor. They include mildew buildup in the meat room, broken light shields, and soiled floors, but no repeat violations. To Mount Morency County and Freddy's Market in Atlanta, six repeat violations, including unshielded lights, meat incorrectly labeled, and frozen bakery items sold as fresh. Fred, the owner, showed us how they corrected the violations, but when asked why they hadn't corrected them after the first inspection, he said they were remodeling at the time. Next, Tom's Food Market on South Airport Road in Traverse City. Seven violations, two repeats, being outdated infant formula and an uncleanable meat rack. Store managers took us to the meat cooler. The old rusty red is gone, and so is the outdated formula. Across town to Prevost Market on US 31 South. Ten mid-level violations, including food kept at incorrect temperatures and mold and dust in coolers. While we weren't allowed in, management pointed out that the store had corrected all of the violations. The Harbor Market's IGA in Harbor Springs notched five violations, including standing chicken juice on the floor, deteriorating floors and walls, and an uncleanable cutting board. The store manager agreed to take us on a tour inside without our cameras. She showed us the improvements the store had made since their last inspection. To Petoskey and Carter's Food Center, six total violations, three repeats of the highest level of violation noted by inspectors. Dirt, debris, and spilled product in the storeroom, returned and damaged dairy foods mixed in with fresh products, and sevens of outdated infant formula. When asked about the repeat violations, the new store manager explained that the previous manager didn't view these as a priority. But when we arrived, the new management showed us they had corrected all of the violations. And finally, Gaylord, Glenn's Market. Six violations, but no repeats. The most serious and uncleanable rack used to store chicken. While they wouldn't allow us in, management said the store had corrected the situation. Now, we should point out, food inspectors say it is very uncommon to find a store that doesn't have at least one violation. But it's the severity of those violations that shoppers need to be aware of. If you'd like to give your grocery store's inspection report, give the Michigan Department of Agriculture a call. Mark Chalette, 7 and 4 News. Good to know that those inspectors are actually out there. If you would like to request a copy of, for the inspector's report for your grocery store, you can give the Michigan Department of Agriculture a call. That number is 1-800-292-3939. Be sure to have the store's name street address available when you call.